Hi everyone, it's Coach Fred here and today I'm going to be reviewing the distributive property from your um, previous course. So um, the distributive property, I like to call the distributive property of multiplication because that's actually what you're doing. So in this example that I have here, A, B, and C are real numbers. And I have this A on the outside of parentheses, which that actually means, we want to remember that means multiply. So if I am multiplying a number to parentheses that has addition or subtraction, that means I have to multiply the A to the first term, in this case B, and to the second term, in this case C, getting AB plus AC. That's the distributive property, and the distributive property works over addition and subtraction, okay? All right, again, let's make sure when two things are right next to each other like this, it means that we have to multiply. So we have to multiply to everything within the parentheses. All right, so how do we use it? Here's an example. I have two being multiplied to the quantity x plus 5. So that quantity is an expression with addition and subtraction. So that 2 has to get multiplied to the x and to the 5. Now you see me using those arrows. I use them every time. There's no reason not to. It helps me remember. I gotta make sure I multiply that two to everything. Now, in this example, I just flipped it around. I used the commutative property to flip it around, but that eight is still being multiplied to the whole quantity. So eight plus 16x. All right, you try. Oops, you try C, D, and E. Press pause and then come back and check your answers. Okay, so if you checked, you distributed negative 3 to, to x and 4, so getting negative 3x minus 12. If you got something wrong, fix it. All right, in this case, you multiplied negative 4 to the y and to the 5, getting negative 4y minus 20. Now remember, a negative times a positive is going to give me a negative. Now this one was trickier. You had a negative in front of it. Anytime we put a negative in front of parentheses, it means take the opposite of everything inside. It's just like distributing a negative 1, giving me negative 6x, negative 6 plus 3x. All right, so why do we not distribute in this case? Well, remember I said the distributive property is to, you can distribute over addition and subtraction. This is not a dis, addition and subtraction. This is just purely multiplication. So I could multiply 4 to the 10 and then 10 times 12. I could multiply 10 times negative 12 and then times negative 4, which is probably what I'm going to do because um, I always like multiplying 10 to the bigger numbers. So if I did this first, that would give me 120. So my new expression would be negative 4 times negative 120 which gives me positive 480. want you to make sure that you don't think that that negative 4 has to be multiplied to the 10 and to the 12. Again, the distributive property only works over addition and subtraction. All right, so let's review some terms so that we can use this distributive property and another concept. So the word term means um, you know, any expression with um, variables or numbers. So like 2x is a term and 5 is a term. So this would be a two-term expression. The constant is the term that has no variables. So in this case, the 5. It is an unchanging. When I put next x next to a number, that means that I can put any number in for x, so it's a changing value. Coefficient. That's the number in front of the variable, the numerical factor of a term, so the coefficient. And then like terms, which is why we are here today, we want to make sure that you understand that like terms are the same variable raised to the same exponent. Same variable raised to the same exponent. So here's some examples. 8x and 3x are like terms, okay? That means that I can combine them. When I combine them, the variable does not change. I only add the numerical coefficient. That Remember that coefficient in front. Okay, so that would give me 11x. All right, in this case, 4x squared and negative x squared are the like terms, so I can add them. In this case, subtract them, giving me 3x squared plus 2. All right, here I've got to use the distributive property first. I can, because this is being multiplied, remember, I have to use proper order of operations. I can't multi, uh, subtract the 3 and the 2 before I multiply the 2, or the negative 2, to the 4 and to the x, giving me 3 minus 8 minus 2x. 
Now the like terms are actually the constant terms. So I have 3 minus 8, which gives me negative 5 minus 2x. All right, I want you to see, do you really understand, are they unlike or, or are they like? Okay, so or like or unlike. Okay, negative 4x and 10x, same variable raised to the same exponent, they're alike. 3xy and 5y, all right? So this one has an xy, this one has a y, they are not like terms. 4x squared y and 4x squared y, same variables raised to the same exponent, they are like terms. 5x squared and 9x, they are not like terms, you can't add them, okay? All right, so again, if there are like terms, then I can combine them, but I can only combine the ones that are alike. So in this case, I've got 5x, 9x, negative 12x, they're alike. So all I have to do is add or subtract the numerical coefficients. So 5 plus 9 minus 12. So 5 plus 9 is 14. 14 minus 12 is 2. So this is going to be work out to be 2x. We can have expressions and equations that have multiple sets of like terms. So for example, you can see that a negative 11a squared and 9a are like terms. They have the same variable raised to the same exponent. I can add them, so I add or subtract the numerical coefficients. That would give me negative 2a squared. Negative 6ab and 10ab are like terms because they have the same variables raised to the same exponents, giving me 4ab. All right, you try um, B and D, and you can check the solutions guide for more. All right, but what if I put more parentheses or more sets of grouping symbols around these, um, these terms? So that means you just have to distribute first, then combine like terms. Distribute first, distribute means multiply. Combine like terms means add. So following proper order of operations, that should make sense to you. So in the case here, I'm going to distribute the 9, getting 9a plus 9b. I'm going to distribute the 4. That's giving me 12a plus 8b. And then I can combine the like terms. 9, um, that's going to give me 21a plus 17b. All right, you try f, okay? Press pause and come back and let's see if you're right. Okay, so I got 20x plus 40y plus 10. All right, this last one's a little bit harder. I've got two sets of grouping symbols, so you always, always want to start in the innermost first. So right here, that two, I've got to distribute it in. Now, I'm not going to try and do multiple steps here. I'm going to kind of do tornado math and make my expression go get smaller and smaller. So I have negative 24 plus 3 times 4y plus 10y minus 16 minus 9y. Then I'm going to go to the next set of parentheses, which is the 4y and the 10y minus 16. Negative 24 plus 3 bracket 14y minus 16. I know we want to distribute the 3, but it's going to make it easier if you combine everything inside first. Okay, now I can distribute the 3. Okay, so 14 times 3 uh, is 42. So that's going to give me 42y minus 48 minus 9y. All right, now I combine the like terms. I have a 42 minus 9y, which would give me um, 33y. And negative 24 and negative 48 is going to give me 672, negative 72. All right, guys, so now you're going to try the practice on the next couple pages with combining like terms and the distributive property. Have a great day.